fearless pioneer. Yo, what's going on guys? EJ here, bringing another Lord of the Rings Rise of the War video. Today guys, I'm going to be showing you um, a bunch of PvP and stuff like that. I did some tests where I made a full crazy initiative speed build to the best of my ability on my Gandalf the White. You probably haven't seen him in action, so I did a lot of um, different builds and stuff like that. So, I was first going to start off with showing you the two builds. You will notice like throughout the reports and that, that my units were changing a lot. I mixed and matched a lot. The scaling pretty much will stay pretty much exactly the same as you can see down here. Usually always five points in here for the white. A couple of points here. Sometimes I might change it and have all the points into the white. Um, and then of course, always got white council maxed. And then white rider. So the whole point of increasing his speed is when Versi Evil, 99% of people are running Sauron these days, and you want to be trying to outspeed his um, skills such as like the Deceiver and that, that can steal abilities, uh, including your White Council and your White Rider. So this is the importance of speed. And I'm going to break down how the speed or the initiative exactly works. So I had two builds. I'll show you this build here and then the later, which I changed a little bit. So as you can see, with my gear, I was using such things here as the Stand Claw that gives plus 6 initiative. Then we have the Berserker's Rainment, which gives plus 6 initiative. Then I had the Coal of the Forest, which gives initiative plus 6. And then I had a Signet of the Barrows that gave initiative plus 3 here. Um, so I had really good. So as you can see, my initiative at level 47 here on my Zenith 1 Gandalf the White was 57. Now, we'll talk about agility in a moment because we move on to that in my second build in just a moment. So how your initiative will work, you'll have 57 here, but it also works on your unit initiative as well. So it will also add the 14 there, which is going to give us a total of, what, 71 by quick math by the looks of it. So you have 71 speed there, and that's pretty fast compared to, there is a few sirens out there that are super fast and they're going to beat that. But yeah, it goes by the speed of your commander and the units. Now let me show you this second build that I've got just here, guys, that I use later on in some of the reports. Rightio, guys. So later on, I made a couple of changes, and I ended up bringing over some gear that I had on my gill and stuff like that, and came up with this. So as you can see, I still have the same 57 speed, but I also have my agility. So this agility, when um, with just these one piece is going to add plus five, not only to my commander, but also to my unit. So in total is going to add an extra 10. So if we had the 71 here, we're going to get that bonus 10 as well, increasing our speed in initiative, we should say to 81, which is going to help us very much when out speeding. So now I'm going to show you exactly how I did all the battles and that. There's a million, like so many PVPs. Like if I show you like scrolling through, there is many, many, many. We'll pick, I'm going to go through and pick out a few and show um, some with the first build and then the second build and such. So I got into a lot of battles. So yeah, we'll um, be back in just a moment. I'm going to pick out a couple and go through them. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, guys, first off, I just want to show you this report. Uh, so this was before um, I started doing the speed. I increased the speed up. As you can see, I had 57 here. And I wasn't doing the absolute best um, when it came to like this siren here. As you can see, I had decent speed, like 37 plus another 10 on there. So it's 47, 50, 60. So we do get the out speed there. So, but as you can see, I was doing very badly here, but later on you'll see with a bunch of changes, because I also was making changes to Gil as well with his speed. But later on you'll see the difference that I make like in a battle against this. As you can see, I'm getting absolutely destroyed here. Later on, once you see my super speed, as well um, as Gil as well had some speed and some unit changes and that, you'll see a really big difference here. Right now, guys, so we're going to start off with this report here. So as you can see, we've versus this guy called Sensation. Um, 
a lot lower levels, but using a lot of tier 4 and a tier 3 troll, so very tanky. So his speed, obviously not very fast. So we're going to outspeed him here easily because he's only got 31 initiative here plus 3. So yeah, super easily outspeeding. So basically what that means with the breakdown, I'll show you it once so we don't have to go through it all the time and all the reports. So as you can see that Gandalf the White will start first, so then that way... When Sauron, and even you can see here my Gil, is also outspeeding as well, which is very good. So those skills are not going to get stolen. So then you see, then Sauron comes. So then when his Deceiver and that hits, the Madness effects and stuff like that are not going to hit those two commanders, which is fantastic. Um, you can see my Gil here is my skill build for my very fast Gil. So you can see here I had 44 speed. Plus the extra 10 that's going to be coming from this. So that's 54 plus 10. That's 64 speed. So yeah, very fantastic when it comes to speed in that aspect as well. So uh, that's um, where the big differences started coming into effect. When I speeded up not only Gandalf the White, but also my Gil. So having these two high speed was quite interesting to say the least. So yeah, a pretty good uh, battle report here as you can see. 336,000 damage received to 236,000, doing a lot of commander damage. So yeah, overall, um, really good. You can see, of course, where the damage is coming from. The only commander that died there was Bjorn, but besides that, um, we did quite well. Um, you can see I was using the tier 4 and guild there, and then using I was using all elves at the time, so I was using no melee, which was quite interesting. I just wanted to show you this one, even though like I won pretty easily and I'm a lot higher levels than that. I just wanted to show you the kind of speed that you can get, especially with the 1.0 speeds with the initiative plus 18 there with this gear. It's crazy. Unit melee plus 12. So you can see the speed that um, he can get is crazy. As you can see, you have 50 initiative here plus initiative on the units of 26. So that's 76 speed there. But it is possible to outspeed them, as you can see, because I had 81 speed. Um, but they're very, very, very fast um, in that aspect of battle there. I just wanted to show you this report and this Sauron here, guys. So as you can see, I won this battle very easily. But I just want to show you this report as well, because this is a full agility set. So in total, this is going to give plus 20 agility. So as you can see here, you got 30 plus 20, that's 50 plus the... 13 equals 63 so that is a way how you can get a very fast siren as well but yeah i just wanted to show you a full agility set there all right guys so in this report um i did very good as you can see of course i'm a lot higher leveled i just wanted to show this one because i wanted to show you um gandalf the white using eagles at the time we still didn't have that initiative speed build but as you can see we were very fast here with 57 speed here guys Plus another 20, so you got um, 77 speed there. So very fast, doing pretty good in that battle. Um, and we won't talk about the breakdown of that, um, but I was just using eagles there. I just wanted to show you some of the initiative speeds that you can get when using eagles. Alrighty, we've got Mr. Flame here, who will be very happy to see himself in a video. So as you can see, this is where I started going with a build where I was putting... Um, a melee unit on Gil as more of a tank because he has pretty decent command even though mine was very kind of low here at 252 because I did have the full initial speed build here but this is a quite interesting so he did hit me for quite a decent chunk I wasn't full health at the time and take in consideration as well of course that I have my units and all that my commanders were a bit damaged but I'm way higher level than that. But I wanted to show you his Sauron here because it's fantastic. So he has a really good 1.0 gear here once again. So you can see 50 plus initiative of 22 is really quick. So he's got uh, 70 something speed there. But as you can see, if we go to the breakdowns here once again, and I show you, you will see his Sauron is still outspeeding me, which is crazy because that 1.0 gear is so fast. So then you can see I got lucky in that, but he did have the ability to steal my avoidance or even my white council if he got lucky. So he didn't get the best RNG, um, but as you can see, still he did inflict madness like that on my Dane and stuff, which is going to do a lot of self damage as well. So yeah, that's why he did really good there because I was damaging myself a lot. Alright guys, so yeah, this is probably going to be one of the big highlights of the video. 
So this is where we went against Darth Vader, who is very strong. So if we have a look at his commanders, you can see very good, like Witch King, super duper fast, Zenith level 14 there. Followed by a Zenith level 14. That's correct, Zenith level 14. Sauron, so we have 34 here, plus an extra 10, so you got 44 plus the initiative, which is good. So he's got close to like 60 speed there, guys. As you can see, fantastic gold gear in that around. As well as his units, we've got an Undyne there, Zenith 13, and then we've got a Respect level 13, the Shadow. So a fantastic, very strong meta evil build. As you can see, it was a very close battle here, and I'm very happy with it. Um, as you can see, he's also using a lot of tier four units. I was using Eagles at the time. Um, so as you can see, we, we did really good here, like very tanky units and that. I want to show you the breakdown of this one. This shows you how speed can work out. So I took 285 to 293. Now, in the past, he would absolutely destroy me, like kill me and have about 3,000 health left. So as you can see, the outspeeding and beating his Sauron helped me an absolute lot. So if we come down here like such... Um, you can see that my Gandalf was outspeeding. Then, of course, the Witch King is super, super duper fast, um, which is really good. But then my Gil also outspeeded his Sauron as well, which is fantastic. So he wasn't able to steal my Avoidance or any of my White Council or White Rider skills. And that's what gave me this fantastic result, guys, which you probably would have seen in the thumbnail. Alright guys, so we're back versing this Inquisitor guy, and as you can see, there has been a big change from me getting completely killed and having 3000 HP left on him. You can now see, in this aspect, I actually won the battle this time, um, and very strong using these, the Vanguards are fantastic, they're so tanky. Um, the big thing that comes into it, like he has a pretty decently fast um, star on here, 37, plus a 10 is 47, so he's got 50, 60 speed. But we did outspeed him here with our good old Gandalf. We got our guild here, who I did rechange my gear back to unit attack. So we didn't have a very fast guild here once again. So I wasn't outspeeding when it came to guild versus Sauron. But with the RNG, he doesn't really get hit that much. So I wanted to go more back to a unit attack and defense build on him. And it actually works out a lot better. Um, as you can see, we have the new skilling here with the um, the speed. So we've got 57 plus 10, that's 67. And then you've got 77, so like 83. I think it was 83.4 speed in this battle. So we did fantastically there with the breakdown. If you have a look at it, 245,000 damage received to 308,000. So a very good battle there, guys. So yeah, guys, um, that's going to wrap up the video there. Um, as you can see, we got a lot of better improvements when it comes to evil with the speed, using a lot of speed, not only on getting off the white, but also a little bit there in some of the reports on Gil as well, getting some out speeds, which is quite interesting as well. But yeah, guys, I hope this video was entertaining and fun to watch. And until next time, guys, peace out, EJ's out, and I'll catch you guys later. See you. Thousands of the EJU.